Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by a functional group. You should then be able to describe what's meant by a homologous series. Now, this is the first video in the organic chemistry topic. Organic chemistry is a large topic and it can seem complex. It's not as tricky as it looks, but if you want to be good at organic chemistry, then you need to learn everything that I tell you. I'd strongly recommend making flashcards and committing them to memory. Okay, now the first idea you need to understand is that all organic chemicals are covalent molecules based on the element carbon. I'm showing you here three organic molecules. These are methanol, ethanol, and propanol. And these are all examples of alcohols. The white lines represent the covalent bonds. So as you can see, all of these molecules are based on the element carbon. Now the key feature of carbon atoms is that they can form four covalent bonds. Hydrogen atoms form one covalent bond, and oxygen atoms form two covalent bonds. And it's very important that you learn that. Looking at the molecules, we can see that they've got two parts. We've got a chain of carbon atoms bonded to hydrogen atoms, and I'm showing those here. Scientists call this part of the molecule the hydrocarbon chain. As you can see, the length of the hydrocarbon chain is different depending on the molecule. Each molecule also contains a second part, which I'm showing you here. This is an oxygen atom covalently bonded to a hydrogen atom. Scientists refer to this as the alcohol group, and you can see that this is the same for each molecule. Now all of these molecules react in a similar way, and that's because they all contain the alcohol group. Scientists refer to the alcohol group as the functional group. Now, there are a number of different functional groups in organic molecules, and we'll be looking at some of them later. I'm showing you here the definition of a functional group, and you need to learn it. The functional group is the part of a molecule which determines how it reacts. So, going back to the alcohols, we can see that they all have the same functional group, and that means that all of these molecules react in a similar way. Now, scientists call the alcohols a homologous series, and you need to be able to explain what that means. Here's the definition, and again, you need to learn it. A homologous series of organic molecules have the same functional group, but each successive member has an additional CH2. So what does this mean? Firstly, all the members of a homologous series have the same functional group, and we've already seen that the alcohols all have the alcohol functional group. Secondly, each member of a homologous series has an additional CH2. Now that sounds tricky, but it's actually quite straightforward. Comparing methanol with ethanol, we can see that ethanol has one extra carbon atom and two extra hydrogen atoms compared with methanol, and I'm showing those in green. If we compare ethanol with propanol, again we can see that propanol has one extra carbon atom and two extra hydrogen atoms compared with ethanol, and again we can see those here. I'm showing you a different homologous series here. These are examples of chloroalkanes. We've got chloromethane, one chloroethane, and one chloropropane. In this case, the functional group is the chlorine atom. And we can see that each member of the series differs by an additional CH2. In the next video, we'll start looking at how to name organic compounds. 